coming in from European refineries or Middle Eastern refineries in some case and have not really stood up to the standards as required in international best practices. It is not a surprise that you could see local refineries even producing better quality um, um, products for local consumption. But the real question we have to ask ourselves is the regulatory impasse that we have right now. We need to be able to improve that. We need to be able to show up local refineries. We need to be able to boost them up and give them a chance to really play in this. And we should really embrace this and see this as it's a chance for us to build a change and drive up our industry locally in Nigeria and around Africa. Do you think there's an act of fraud here where merchants are looking for cheap products around the world and putting them on the local market? There is always going to be unscrupulous characters always trying to make an extra dollar or so. But the, the, the real issue there is how are we make, maintaining the standards, seeking compliance, and ensuring that these global standards are met. We have seen in the product supply uh, business that sometimes you need to have real government action in, prevent, in preventing um, the fraud that you sometimes see. But again, it's an opportunity for us to really show up local refineries that are doing a great job to meet the needs of our people, because this is really critical at this moment. At the African Energy Chamber, we have always pushed for that. Local content, supporting local refineries, empowering local consumption is a key aspect of that. And this is a clear example that because it comes from Europe doesn't necessarily mean that it's good. Mm. We can build locally and develop that, but also punish and deal vociferously with the unscrupulous characters that are giving the industry a bad name. Et selon vous, what do you think Nigeria could do in view of the latest findings on illegal refineries? It is a great opportunity for growth. It is a great opportunity for local entrepreneurship, and it's a great opportunity to really give many Nigeria products and support Nigerians to really be part of the 21st century industry. What do you do from here? You create capital. The big problem with having refineries, being able to do very well in Nigeria, is there is a lack of capital, and not just capital, a patient capital, to, to build these refineries and have them operate. We need to have the state coming with financing of credible refinery entrepreneurs so that you drive that. Thank you so much, NJ Ayuk, for your views. That is the president of the African Chamber of Energy Online from Johannesburg, South Africa. Thank you so much for having me. It's, it's, it's always great to talk to you. We take a short break and after.